everybody, Dizzy Crafter here with another haul. I've actually been really, really good. Um, I'd set a goal that I was going to not spend so much on craft products this year and I've not really purchased anything big since before Christmas. So um, yeah, I had a birthday and I was gifted a gift token and some cash. So I decided uh, to go to the Lavinia shop and go buy some goodies with my new tokens and uh, money. So I did have a bit of a splurge and I also still had my Christmas money from my partner as well. So that was grand. So I did actually have a really good spend in there. So without further ado, let's dive in and uh, I can share with you what I've got. So the first thing I got is the watercolour cardstock, but this is the heat press one. Um, I actually last weekend did a class with Jo Rice. Uh, she came to my, well not my craft group, but the craft group I go to and we did some bookmarks and stuff and I did purchase some hot press watercolour cardstock from W. H. Smith's, but at Lavinia it was cheaper, I right, it was two sheets less but it still worked out cheaper so that's why I've got some more of that because I felt like that really held the water um, content when we were using the brush oils and stuff a lot better than my normal watercolour cardstock plus it was lovely smooth with being hot press to then stamp on as well and then as I just before mentioned we did do some bookmarks um, so I got a couple of sets of these sticks bookmarks now you can buy them from other places Amazon and stuff like that but while I was there I put, got some of those so I've got 12 of those I'm going to be making some of them as gifts and then I finally caved and I got all the mica powders now they sell it cheaper if the more you buy the cheaper you get so I got the whole set because I knew I would end up buying the whole set eventually anyway so we've got metallic rouge metallic bronze, uh, crystal gold, iridescent blue, iridescent green, iridescent violet, lavender blue, alpine blue, rosable, Scottish thistle, blue slit, blue spender, white sparkle and pine forest. So you can see all the colours there as well. So I'm really excited to have a go at those. And then we got the Bay Leaf Cottage. Now, this was Joe was using this stamp, and I did the Bumble Cottage, I think it is, which is slightly smaller than this uh, when we was doing our project. So I really, really wanted this because I, I really like the size of it. So that's why we've, I've got that one. And there was a few stamps that I didn't have that Joe was using, so they was already on my list to get before I'd even got to the store. And this was another one. This is the field grass. Now I have got the orchard grass, which is very, very similar, but smaller, but I did want the bigger one. And then I don't think I've ever actually saw this one before. And it's the Believe stamp. It's quite an early one. It's 271. Um, really, really, really good. I'm really excited to use that. I'm not big on word stamps, but I really, really like that one. It caught my eye. Um, I'd actually received a birthday card with this on and I really liked it so when I seen it in the shop I got I decided I'd get that so thank you Jill for the inspiration I will definitely be recreating your card because I loved it and then the next one we got was bluebells this is only one of the smaller stamps but these are really really nice stamps to use I, I like that that size and as you all know, I've got a thing for trees, and so I got the fir tree one. And then I got just, must, must have been the original fir tree. And then we got the fairy charms. Now I really, really like the Christmas charms, so that's why I thought I'm going to get these ones. Um, so that's what I did there. Then we've got some more trees. We've got the fairy fir tree. We, I've got the other one to this as well. I think it's slightly wider uh, than this one. And this was one of the stamps we was using um, on the on Saturday, and this is called Foxglove. 
I feel it's really really pretty and you get two in there and I really like this one and this is the English Bluebell and then we got Fern Branch this has been on my hit list for some time now it was meant to be for some idea I had for a Christmas card but I can still use it all year round so I'm not too bothered and my idea will be there for next Christmas too and then we've got Spanish Moss Foliage and I really really, this is the one I really really like. I mean they're both very nice but I do really like this one. And then this was on my hit list again, this Winter Magic and I know like winter's near enough gone so I won't get time to use it now until Christmas next year but I really really wanted it and I knew I had placed an order at Christmas I'd have spent even more money and because I'm on a spending ban from myself I decided not to get it but now I could get it and I'll have it there now ready for this year's Christmas. And then we've got this Zen Grass. I just think it was really really quirky and unusual and I'm hoping there's going to be lots of inspiration with Joe using this. I'm not sure if Joe actually has this one but I shall have a look on her YouTube channel. I'm just going down to the last few now. So then we have uh, Gideon which is a, a fox and I think he's a really really nice little dude. And then this last, this next one, the seed heads, is one that Jo was using on her card again. I really, really liked it, so I definitely had to have it. And plus, I really want to recreate the card that we did on Saturday, doing it in different colourways and stuff. So I had to have this one. And then the last one I've got is Zelif, and this is a mermaid card. So that is actually my haul guys, like, I'm really excited to have a go using these, I've really really got into the Lavinia stamps, I've not really been doing much of the other crafting as such, uh, I have but not, not as much as I would do because I really really enjoy creating the cards using the Lavinia stamps, um, so I hope you are all having a great time and I thank you very much for watching I would love it if you please comment and subscribe and hopefully I shall catch you in the next video bye